The state says that the state has been adding jobs in some areas, according to the Workforce Development Department today. The department reports nearly 13,000 private sector jobs were added in June, but most of them are in the summertime leisure and hospitality industries, and overall statewide, 13,000 fewer people actually have jobs this month compared with last. But the governor is claiming nearly 40,000 private sector jobs created this year. However, because of those fewer overall jobs, the state's unemployment rate has increased to 7.6 percent. It had been in May 7.4. Wisconsin's unemployment is still below the national average of 9.2. Governor Walker and his top officials were out touting their version of the new job numbers today, but Democrats say the report doesn't tell the whole story. Fox 11's Becky DeVries has our look at our economy, your future. Since the beginning of the year, that's more than 39,000 new jobs in the state of Wisconsin. In Milwaukee, Governor Scott Walker announced the number of Wisconsin jobs are on the rise. I think there are a lot of things that are working. In Green Bay, Lieutenant Governor Rebecca Clayfish echoed the cheer, saying various tax credits and the general sentiment that Wisconsin is open for business are making employers comfortable expanding business. I think that that leads to more consumer confidence, and I think people see the clear direction in which Governor Governor Walker is taking our state, and that's down the path of fiscal responsibility. The numbers released show a loss of 3,400 government jobs in June. Well, there are a lot of retirements, and then Governor Walker did pledge during our campaign to eliminate jobs that were simply left open. The numbers show a gain in many other areas. 800 new manufacturing jobs in the state, 1,600 construction jobs, an increase of 1,100 in educational and health services, and a bump of 6,200 jobs in leisure and hospitality. I'm sure a lot of the summer jobs are hospitality jobs, and you know the people need those jobs. They need any kind of jobs. The majority of those jobs that we've reported over the last uh, prior five months have been manufacturing jobs and, and certainly family su uh, supporting jobs. I haven't been able to examine these last 9,500, uh, their service sector, their, their tourism. Jobs are good. The question is, good percentage of those, I'm sure, under $10 an hour with no health insurance or no pension benefit. You know, jobs are good, but we do need to create more family supporting jobs. Like One thing both Democrats and Republicans agree on, the state needs to continue creating and sustaining jobs. Becky DeVries, Fox 11 News. The state's workforce development site boasts thousands of jobs that need to be filled. You can find the site by heading to our website and clicking on the story about the June employment information.